So this video is for anyone who has old equipment, old machines, maybe it's a manual lathe or some sort of saw, something like this that you want to measure uptime on. And you know, for this old equipment, sometimes people think there's no way forward. I, I don't have a way of getting this online. But I'm gonna show you that I can hook up a toaster with Tulip and I can start measuring OE on a toaster. So if I can do it with that, then you can definitely do it with um, you know, some of your equipment in your shop. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use some off-the-shelf um, hardware. We're going to use an ESP32, and we're going to use that to make a simple program and a current clamp. It's just going to measure the current on this toaster, and whenever it reads, it's going to send it to Tulip. And then we'll use Tulip's machine API, and we'll use all the machine monitoring built into Tulip to measure whether or not my toaster is online. In your Tulip instance, let's navigate to Shop Floor Machines, and we're going to create a new machine type, and let's call this type Toasters. So we'll go to types, create machine type, toasters. Now we're going to add a machine attribute here. And the attribute is going to be a new one. And let's call it current. And we'll make that a number. And we'll create it. We'll add this current attribute to our machine attributes. And then let's go back to and add a new machine. Create machine my toaster and this is a black and decker toaster and machine type is going to be a toaster and we'll have no station here for now so you'll notice that this current is unmapped so let's click on this and we'll use the tulip API then we're going to link this API event to the attribute so we'll click add mapping and now current is going to be read from this API. Now if we go back to machine types, and we click on the toasters type, we're actually going to want to change the state if the current is above zero. So let's create a machine trigger here and we'll say change state when the machine outputs a specific attribute which is current. We want it to evaluate that current. So if the current current value is greater than a static value which is zero I'm going to do that for now for the for the most recent one that came out if that's the case we're going to change the state to running otherwise we're going to change the state to stopped and now we have conditions that change the state of our machine. So we're going to need a few things if we want to hit this API. So let's create a bot that we can use to connect to Tulip. So let's create a bot here and let's call it Toaster Bot. And we'll give it all scopes. And we're going to copy this header here and put it in a notepad. The other thing we're going to need is from our toaster, we're going to need the machine ID and the attribute ID. So let's grab those as well. And let's head over to our code. So here's a really simple application that connects to my Wi-Fi. That's what's happening here. But down here is where we're actually going to connect to our Tulip application. So here what it's doing is it's going to be reading 100 values. And then after the 100 values, it's going to send a message to Tulip if if the value has changed from where it was last or if it's greater than zero so let's go in here and let's change these values to the tulip instance we're using and we'll copy over those values from earlier so now this code should check and send to my new tulip instance so let's download this onto the ESP32 and it's done. Now let's build a simple application we can use to monitor the machine. So I'm going to create an app here, call it Toaster Viewer. And it'll be a really simple application. All we want to do is embed a machine status box right here. And then what I'll do is I'll put a little menu button here. 
So I can escape the application. And maybe I'll add a few other things like a timeline so I can see how long the machine was on for. And again, I'll select my toaster. So here we go. And then I will select a attribute and I'll just display the values coming straight off of that current. So we'll choose the machine, my toaster, and we'll choose the current. All right, the application is ready. Let's head on over to the toaster and get it hooked up. So I've got a simple station with a toaster and a tulip workstation, and next to it is a little ESP32 connected to a current clamp. Really simple wiring here. I'm going to connect the current clamp to the cord that connects to the toaster. And now I can just turn the toaster on, and you'll hear it ratchet up and start clicking, and that should send a signal to Tulip, so you see it turn green. And instead of waiting the whole time, I'm just going to speed things up a little bit here, and then we'll hopefully see it turn red as soon as that stops. So there you go. OEE on a toaster with Tulip. Thanks.